Long, long ago, when the world was still flat, back before humans knew of magic, in the very center of the ocean floated a tiny yet beautiful island. Its name was Illusia. In those days, on the continent of Fadiel, five great countries flourished. Jad, land of sand. Topol, land of water. Wendel, land of green. Ish, land of fire. And Lorimar, land of ice. All in Fadiel believed the isle was holy, protected by a guardian beast. No one dared to set foot there. On the island, there stood one indescribably enormous tree. The tree had been there before the world began. In fact, it was said to be the mother of every living thing in the world. But in those days, an ancient curse had gradually turned the tree to stone. For a long time, it remained asleep, seeming to some as if it were dead. Now then, I suppose I should tell you the story of how it all began. Of how a certain young man came to possess a sacred sword. And how a certain young maiden became a goddess of mana. It's a winding tale of hope and despair, connecting the worlds of humans and of my fellow spirits. Buju! Ritzy is worried. Oh, you're going to need a leash, Buju. when the world was still flat. You can't make up stuff like that just to spice up a story. What if all the little kids out there take this back? Watch that mouth. You're hardly a scholar yourself, Hot Pants, you know. Half-grown spirits like you should listen more and talk less. Not all of us are as old as dirt, you know. And I'm not the one telling fairy tales acting like I was there the you whole time. You two fools are at it again. Let's save your little grudge match for later. Yes, the eight of us are here for a reason, and it isn't fisticuffs. We need to go over certain events and make sure we've got them right. Correct you are. Tonight is a super exclusive spirit conference. We must discuss the link between our spirits and humanity. I'm the origin of the mana tree. Anything, no. Ah, you're right. Sorry. I ought to stay grounded and not lose my head. The night is brief, and I've got more sinister things to do. Listen up, my fiery friend. You can extinguish that temper, because you know we have a lot to do. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Go on with your story. <clears throat> On the sacred island of Alusia, 
stood a small and solitary village. There dwelt what were known as the tree folk. They lived in peace, blessed by the beauty of When Ritzia touched the root of the great tree, it enveloped them in light. All of the tree folk trembled in fear at the awesome sight, but Stroud merely snickered. Elder and the head guard, and another miscreant of sorts. Capital. Elder, if I may ask you, how does one open the sealed door to Mavolia? A door? To Mavolia? Where have you been? This very island is the door to Mavolia. A thousand years ago, this place was cursed and sealed away. How could it ever be cursed? Illusia is a holy place, a sanctuary. What exactly is it that you want? Listen up, troops. We're here to search Wonderwood. There's something deep inside the forest that'll help revive the Great Tree. It is essential that we achieve this critical objective. And to help us with our task today, we have this tree maiden. She'll be serving as our guide. As proud golems, we must strive for the sake of King Stroud and the entire kingdom of Lorimar. Failure is not an option. Make this mission a success, or else... Now, the world is brimming with the power of the spirit. It is so the army's got Ritzia. It's a good thing we got out of the village. I'll get her back. Hold on. There are too many to take on at once. We'll wait for them to split up once they're in the forest, and then we'll get our chance. Lek, I can take care of Ritzia. 
You go back to the village. Huh? They need... That's Lekius. So goblin. Are they with you? Nah. Some firepower? Just bump into burnable bits and I'll flash fry them flat. Giving enemies that burning sensation is sure to wear down their strength. 